I have had a break, I've been on holiday, and I'm now back to do some art. And as always, if you guys are new to my channel, it is a draw with me style video, so I will be drawing and chatting for half an hour, so please do draw along with me and have me on in the background, do some art, do whatever you want. You can do my theme if you want, which is Secret Garden, and I will be featuring all my patrons who's also joined in on the theme at the end of this video, so I'm very excited about that. Anyway, we have to start drawing because I feel weird about just chatting, 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 chatting. I have some things to talk about and something to show you guys so uh, and share and i have some exciting news well it's not news i'm just i can never stop myself i'm always coming up with new ideas even though i haven't finished no guy prints anyway uh, <laughs> i just thought that i would share with you guys the paper that i'm planning on using today which is aquarel uh, et vive et well, yeah so it's 300 gsm and it's only like it's a very small size like it's a little bit bigger than a postcard size and i picked this up when i was traveling because i needed something to draw and i actually didn't use it but the paper is really thick and nice so i thought i would use it for today's art uh, and i'm going to get into that a little bit later so i thought i would just share with you the sketches that i did earlier today so i actually <laughs> i actually gave up on the piece because i was trying let me just show show you guys I was trying out this aqua board thing and I thought, well this will be fun, I've had it for over a year, I wanted to try it. It's really hard, really heavy, and the texture on the painting size, it, it's not very nice. So I tried to do line art and it looked horrible and I tried, it, just, it, it didn't work out and then when I was doing the washes nothing worked out and it feels like, it doesn't feel like paper and it was stressing me out. So. This is what I had before. Uh, I'll sh probably share with my Patreon that whole part of the video that I'm not gonna leave in here. I'm gonna just continue to sketch my ideas. I'm actually not gonna leave that in. I'm gonna sketch more ideas because I didn't quite fully like the ones I did um, t for the theme. So I'm going to talk a little bit about who Tam Tam is and also uh, do some more sketches and figure out properly what I'm doing and also I'm very happy that I've downgraded to a smaller size because this size even though it's not that big it actually stressed me out a lot so I'm gonna do small piece for a small little friend so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> a lot of information but I'm trying to get into drawing again and it's taking me a bit of off and on today uh, and also because it's really hot and I'm filming late in the night it's actually I'm feeling better now, but you know, when the heat is out, it's really hard to focus and draw. So be careful, everyone who's working at home, and just chill. Like, don't stress yourself out too much. You don't have to draw all the time. You can take a break. So yeah, take care of yourself and just make sure you have your window wide open, you drink lots of water, and just... I'm going to probably do like work in the early morning and then have a siesta and like a break in the middle of the day and then work in the evening because it's too hot in here to work during the day. Anyway, who is Tam Tam? So during my vacation, actually one of the last few days, um, I was going to sleep and I was just thinking about random stuff. I don't really know what I was thinking about. And then suddenly I was just thinking about a cute little spirit that was finding pathways and it was really cute to me and I thought that could be a really cute children's book split, like mixed with like uh, rhymes and stuff so uh, I thought Tam Tam, uh, Tam Tam the Pathfinder would be really cute and somehow that's just stuck and I really like the name but everything might change so I'll show you guys some designs that I was doing um, just yesterday actually and this is what I have right now of little Tam Tam. Uh, he might change, it's kind of like a bird kind of thing character. I'm not quite sure, I based him off a magpie and I, I think he's quite cute. Uh, he will probably change but since I'm so excited about it I thought well I can mix him in with the secret garden theme because that kind of fits his theme as well, his story. Um, and I just want him to be a little dude <laughs> who doesn't know who he really is and he also um, has a little bit of problem being with people and society but he's very good at finding things and that's how he will kind of figure out who he is and who what he want to do in life anyway that's really deep doesn't really need to be deep but this is this is him and he's going to be in the, the the little illustration that we're doing today i had a little design process as you can see i haven't done much some weird ones but when i started doing this one i really liked it so he's very tiny 
and I just want a lot of plants and weird plants and him just steady, standing there with his eyes really big and that's where I got these sketches and they're okay they are fine well this is I can try and explain some of these this is um, some weird fruit and the sun is coming in and he's standing there he's standing here here and then um, a little garden path thing thing in a light and then um, a bit of a kind of stepping thing here and some the same here and the same here so I was just trying to get that to work however however when I was putting that together in the actual illustration it didn't look right I didn't actually like it that much so I'm gonna see if I can do something more interesting uh, for the Inspiration I was actually looking for looking a lot at a lot at the Haikala illustrations just because I find them really charming and at least for this one I just want to do something charming <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. I think the story itself probably will be um, digital and not traditional, but for this one I just wanted to do a small illustration, so I've, I've downsized that little small size and I just want to fill it with a little detail and see what I can do. Um, anyway, that's a lot of information in a really short amount of time, I hope you guys didn't fall asleep, but I thought I would do some more sketching and see what I can do, probably a little bit bigger. Um, I just want to fill the illustration a little bit better. Also, if you're interested in the exclusive postcard, I pro I won't print whatever art I'm doing here as a print ever again. It will only be that postcard. I think we'll we'll see what my <laughs> my patrons decide. But if you are interested in that, you can go to my Patreon, and there's stickers and trading cards, and of course the postcard. So uh, we're having a lot of fun over there. If you want to come join us, I think the the best perk really is the Discord group because people are amazing there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's see what it, we can do. I know that I want... Maybe I should have him up here. Like, I thought I wanted Tam Tam Dam down here. Tam Tam da 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 words down here. But maybe I want him down up here, so he's looking down. So, a secret garden. Maybe that would be a little bit different. That'd be kind of cute. Maybe we can do some water. So he's standing here. Like that. And then water here. Um also, since it's so warm, my window is wide open. So if you hear a lot of noises, that is what it is. Uh I just I just can't bear to have the window closed. And I know it's going to be a little bit of noise, but hopefully the music kind of deafens, <laughs> deafens that part. Maybe he's sitting somewhere and having lunch? Maybe there is some sort of fruit thing. But yeah, I have a whole like little society planned and just a lot of thoughts and ideas for little Tam Tam story and I'm very excited. I know I, I still have to finish uh, the Snowcat Prince but just having more ideas and being excited about it is good so and I um, hopefully will finish Snowcat Prince soon uh, but I can't help myself I just keep coming up with things that I want to do and uh, I just have to do it. I like that. I think we're go I'm gonna go with that, even though I know I haven't done that many sketches, but I like that idea more than this one, even though it's kind of like a portal to a secret garden somewhere. I feel like this is more interesting. Anyway, I'm going to talk about something later as well, we're kind of... I'm not being negative, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not being negative, I'm just being... trying to push myself a little bit, even though I'm very tired and feeling weird. <laughs> so that's what um, I'm trying to do. Okay, let's. I'm gonna put this on, uh, sketch this on the watercolor paper, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. 
All right, I finished the sketch and I'm very, I'm very excited about that now. This feels a lot better than the previous idea and drawing that I had. I'm also gonna use my 8B jumper pencil because my this, <laughs> this small one is running out and I only have like about this much left and I need the pencil extender. Um, and I did buy a 6B pencil, but it did smudge with the last piece that I tried to do, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna use my 8B jumbo and hopefully it looks all right. Um, but yeah, look, he has like plants and standing there. And, I don't know, the composition is a lot better to me. So that's what I'm happy about. And I will be talking about things while I draw. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start up here because I know it's going to smudge a lot. Oh, okay, so yes, anyway, I was going to talk more. <laughs> and, um,. Something that I just did want to just briefly mention is that as an artist, you are allowed to self-doubt and maybe not like something that you do. And it is okay to stop working on something like I did today where I just pretty much did not like the art supply and did not feel motivated. So I stopped working with it and that's, that's completely fine. And I think a lot of people were, well not a lot of people, some people were commenting on my last video that I was very negative for a lot, a, a big par portion of the video, and I know I was, um, and most people weren't bothered, but I think for some people they were annoyed by it, um, which I can't understand, but I just wanted to briefly discuss that as an artist, you are allowed to not like what you're doing and not enjoy it, and that's completely fine. And a part of my draw this in your uh, draw with me uh, videos is that you get my unfiltered view all the time about what I'm doing and how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking, and that's kind of the part of the video. Um, and uh, that's sort of what I like doing. And sometimes I can't always be very happy about what I'm doing right now. I'm feeling a lot better than what I'm, I did this morning when I was trying to film. And I'm just happy I didn't give up completely. And I, I think self-critical thinking is fine. It's good to be very happy about your art. And it's also good to be self-critical about your art. If you feel like you're not doing as best as you can do, like you've done before, then that's fine to say that. You're not supposed to give out a image that says, oh, I know what I'm doing all the time, you know? Like, seriously, I think almost 100%, well, maybe 95% of the time, I don't really know what I'm doing. And I kind of just try and go with it, and hopefully something good happens. And I don't know. I don't know. I guess people come to be inspired, and when I'm not inspired myself, and that's the video that I released, then I, I do understand that it's kind of off-putting that the video wasn't as inspiring, maybe, as... I don't know. Maybe it is inspiring that I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> sometimes. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think. I personally was not a big fan of the art that I did. Um, right now I feel better about it. Last week, I mean. This one's fine. Um, and I was thinking about maybe not publishing it, but then I thought, well, people need to know that I don't always feel 100% about what I'm doing. That's fine. Usually, like today, I would just try and redo it, whatever I was doing and I didn't feel like it was working out. So today I'm feeling good because I'm, I'm trying again and I f even, even though I felt like whatever I did before was like not up to my normal standard, I had time to redo it and I felt like it was okay to redo it. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't finish the previous one though so that's probably why I felt okay about it. Also there's a neighbor right outside the window. <laughs> And my window's really wide open. Why is everyone out right now? I can't film when people are, people are around. 
anyway, enough about that. I think I think you are allowed to feel however you feel about your art. And you shouldn't be discouraged when you do feel like things are not as good as they, as they should be. And just keep going. And finish whatever you were doing. Try again if you need to. And then just keep doing it. And then hopefully you'll get to a level where you do feel like you are where you should be at. And that the art you produce is as good as you hoped it would be. So Anyway, it wasn't that many comments about that anyway. I just thought I would just mention it. Because I know that I was quite negative in that video. And that's just how it is. <laughs> It's so weird trying to do an art piece like this, even though I know the character is going to change, most likely. Like, I always change things a little bit before I actually start a project, but I find this character really cute and really fun to draw, so hopefully he stays pretty much the same as he is right now. But I have to do proper character development, I have to just keep trying to see what needs to change? I don't know. Some maybe maybe nothing needs to change. Maybe this is what I I want. So I'll just have to accept whatever comes my way. <laughs> but I hope you guys like him because I am going to make a book about about him when I get some more time. Um, probably after Snowcat Prince is said and done. So that's probably next year. But that just means I can keep developing this little dude whenever I have some free time. <laughs> I was thinking also maybe... I was just thinking about this right now, but I don't know if I'll actually get to do that. But I really, really want to go back to Japan. I was actually really inspired by the series that I was watching for a while. <laughs> well, I'm still watching it. Uh, I still have to get through all the episodes, but it's called Mushi... Mushishi? Mushi? It's an old series, but I just like the style and the stories. Sorry, I'm just sharpening my pencil up here. And I just really like the nature and I also like Japan in general and their forests and temples and stuff. And this little guy was pretty much inspired by it. So especially his name, Tam Tam. I think it's like I think Japanese use that sound word. I don't know if if um Western languages do that but tam tam is like a tam tam like a, a drum beat and i thought that would be really cute and he might have a alternate like i don't know personality or something called bam bam uh, but that's just a quick idea that i had today actually <laughs> i was lying outside in the sun and i was like oh that could be interesting but as i said he hasn't been fully designed and developed yet i'm just I was just itching to do something different and not think about the Snowcat Prince. Um, if you're curious about Snowcat Prince, actually, things are moving along, but I don't think the book will be ready for Thought Bubble. That was my, like, small kind of idea and plan, was to have it ready for um, Thought Bubble, which is in November. And that, that with that I mean, like, having the book ready and printed and selling. <laughs> which is a bit optimistic. I'm I'm still working on the lines. Um, the shop update kind of put a little break on, on working on Snowcat, um, which was really fun, so I didn't really mind. But then I had to just make a decision and say, hey, you're not going to make that, or you, you can't put yourself through that much stress and try and get it ready by then, and you should just enjoy the story and the process. So Snowcat Prince will be ready soonish. Um, the Kickstarter will happen uh, before September 1st, that's that's my deadline for the Kickstarter, and then the book will be shipped out in February at the latest because I need some extra time. Um, Grey Legs had a really quick turnaround but that, but, that, but that was just because I promised something that I probably shouldn't have promised because it was really stressful. Um, but I'm excited to do another Kickstarter. It's been a year, so it's time for another one. 
and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make it really big and interesting and special. So you guys stay tuned for that. And there we go, I think I have the lines ready, which is exciting. It's so much nicer when you have smaller formats. My hands might get a bit more cramped, but I find it a lot easier to work in this. Because then I can see everything and I feel like I can fill out the frame properly. It's great. Um, and yeah, that's that one. And I think what I'm going to do is have a gradient from yellow to blue. And then I'm going to add in greens and stuff later. Um, but definitely yellow to blue. I wish I had masking fluid right now so that I could put that on certain areas that kind of need masking fluid but I don't have that so um, hmm, I'll just have to see if I can avoid touching certain areas okay I'm going to start with the gradient from yellow so that is I swear to god that bus is the loudest thing right now. I'm just hoping that this paper would take some color and some washes and all that. But we'll have to see how it behaves. I'm actually having a feeling that the uh, pencil is smudging. I'm, I'm sort of surprised. Maybe it's like it's only smudging when I'm using it. Well, only not smudging when I'm using um, my Illo sketchbook or something. And some of the really clever people who know things comment. <laughs> trying to figure out where to put certain colors and just I'm just using two colors right now and I think it's called follow phalo phalo blue and also pure yellow that's the two colors I'm using right now I'm not using any other colors on those two so you can see how much that can really do for a drawing it's kind of impressive actually when you think about it. Oh, I was talking about this in the, in the, when I was filming before, but <laughs> I find it really interesting. Um, I was watch I'm watching a lot of Chris Hong's videos lately. Um, I follow her really a lot and I love her art. And something that she always does that I've never been able to do is to spend so much Jesus. So much time planning and figure thing, figuring things out before she even like touches the paper that she's going to do the art on. And that really fascinates me because I never do that. And I'm like, how? how? So I'm really fascinated watching her and just enjoying her art in general. And uh, yeah, when I'm doing this, I just get the feeling like I'm doing something wrong because I probably should plan out more. Like, I haven't even done a color study. I just kind of have something in my brain and then hopefully that will work. Well, I'd love to be able to. I just don't know if I could. Could I? Even if I wanted? This is really bright green. How did I mix that green? Can you see that green? That's like neon. I don't know if that's even a good idea to put on. Probably not, but I mixed it, so now I want to use it. Can I do that?
I'm actually going darker around these areas than I thought I would. I thought I would keep it quiet. Um, quite bright, but I'm clearly going very dark. I think I'm gonna make something a little bit more brown on the path just to get a little bit of a different coloring because right now everything's very green and well which is what I want but I just wanted to get a bit more of something else lowering the blueness a little bit making it a bit more grey which is fine I think this paper has got quite good <laughs> maybe at its limits for what it can do for me. I just really, I, I seriously need to get more of that paper from that squirrel box video because oh my god I love that. I'm being quiet because I'm having fun. Let me have fun. <laughs> Swear to god there's always noises around me. Well, I'm closing in on something that I really, really like. I feel like I need something more just to pull interest a little bit, and that would probably be something purple. Add that to the corners of the flowers. That cute? That's very cute. Okay. Shawl, at least for this illustration, just because. Uh, it will draw the eye a bit more than anything else I could put on him. Now I'm not quite sure what to do with uh, with him. Because <laughs> I do want really dark like feathers on him. So I'm going to make his eyes yellow for now. Because they're reflecting. So at least I have that. I can get them a little bit of a gradient. I'll have to go a few. I think maybe his design needs to change a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna go over the pen and neaten this up. Just when it dries a little bit. I went a bit too dark, so I'm just gonna see if I can darken everything else a little bit. Just going with the blue. Probably gonna go over with some pencil just to darken it up a little bit, but I'm, I think it's quite cute. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and just take a little break and I will be back. Okay, I honestly couldn't wait too long, so I brought out my black pencil and we're gonna do a bit of texturing and just darkening things up that I feel like got a bit lost. And now that it's so dark, I feel like I can kind of add in a few more interesting textures and things. See how weird, weird, uh, <laughs> words, weirdly that kind of made things work a little bit better. Isn't that weird? Oh, I would have loved to do some masking fluid for this because then I could have added like veins and stuff to the drawing. But I will be satisfied with what I have. I like just making a lot of textures doing this. Okay, I'm gonna add some more green to this as well. Okay, I need to just clean up him a little bit and then I think I'm done. Also, that bird is incredibly, incredibly loud. 
Alright, I think I need to leave this for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to be um, uh, featuring all of my patrons' uh, work for last, well, this month's theme, which is Secret Garden. What did that do? This doesn't look, look like Secret Garden anymore, but it was supposed to be. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for that and show my wonderful patrons some love. And uh, yeah, they're absolutely amazing. So please do. Speaking of Patreon, if you do want this piece as a postcard, you can go over to my Patreon. And uh, the link will be in the description. And uh, it's just Patreon slash Dina at Nolan.com and all that stuff. Wait, wait, wait. What did I just say? <laughs> Patreon.com slash Dina Nolan. There you go. I, was, I said that really weird. Okay. Where's my white gel thing? Alright, that is it for this monthly challenge, which was Secret Garden. I know, I think every time I do one of these, I kind of do something a little bit different than I originally thought I would for a theme. And maybe less specific, more specific. I don't know, I had fun. I think this is what I want to do, so that's what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, had some fun drawing drawing whatever you were doing or drawing or doing something i don't know i hope you guys I, it's really late and i need to go to sleep but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next week for another video and yeah just remember to go check out the patreon if you wanna if you're interested and uh, i will chat with you guys later uh, have a wonderful weekend guys and i'll see you bye